super sleepy but we always start the day with sunrise yoga This is my beautiful home for the week. I love this coffee. Black sesame milk. I still think that berry rice one was my favorite for the coffee mm. because it's sweeter. It's our classroom. No, I'm just joking. It's the place where we're gonna study, just like every day. That's how ethical fashion is made. Hmm. So we're gonna make a sauce yeah. and pour it last thing yep. to create a creamy texture of the whole dish. Exactly. And we have the coconuts. Yeah. Have a little bit of black pepper and oregano and um, um, salt. Which has all the minerals and that's why it's dark very often. Not always, but it should be towards the darker because that's mm -hmm. when it has iron and magnesium in it. Is Himalayan okay? Pink salt. Himalayan is another composition of the minerals, so it doesn't suck up water, but sea salt does. What does that mean? That means that even those that have a thick blood because they have eaten too much animal sourced food, which thickens the blood, you know, they get hypertension or heart disease, they cannot eat this sea salt. Nor because it will suck all the water that's exactly. left. Exactly. Mm. So then the, the blood becomes even thicker and they're going to be at risk to have a heart attack or a stroke. That's why Himalayan is better. That's why Himalayan is better for them and also not only better but a must because we need salts and the minerals yeah. that the salts bring. I right? love that. And now Shall we, we just, blend? Yes. It smells like heaven. I love those flavors. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Yeah? Mm. So I use... Whoa, they're so beautiful. One mandarin as a dressing, together with the mustard, the oil, the black pepper, salt, and 
if you want, we can have a little bit of oregano on here as well. Yeah, it would be yeah. fine. But should we mix that? Should yeah, we mix? please. So we have our beautiful Moroccan Thai, would you call it stew? Yes. And the cabbage salad with mandarin and standard, which is the rice, is it? The berry rice with black rice and millet. Believe me or not, these are the best bananas ever. Once you try them, you never want to go back. I don't know if it's just me, but it is a workout. Maybe it's the temperature. Mm. I didn't expect him to be so big. Hello. So it's a beautiful afternoon or evening and that's where you can do anything. Sometimes I go to the beach, sometimes we go on a little trip, I go for a swim or just read. I'm just gonna go down to the beach and finish my book. And then what's left is some nice dinner, maybe meditation and healthy sleep because we usually work with the sun. So we wake up, have yoga at sunrise and then when the sun goes down, we slowly become more still and go to bed or to our sala. Well, first of all, what we should say is that every night we have soup and bean paste. The basis of these um, bean paste that we like is one raw garlic, or we can start with half because the other day they were very strong. Okay. We have cilantro. We have salt. black pepper and, and I like the Thai variation with lime mm. so yes like when you make hummus you always put something yeah when I'm in Spain I use lemon sour. here I use lime lime and cilantro and in Spain lemon and parsley mm. and you can just blend it like that yep I think so Otherwise, I need to add a little bit of liquid um, because the Thai, the um, these beans are a little bit dry. If you add an extra taste, yeah, you that's just, a good thing. With if mm -hmm. you have leftovers and you don't know what to do with them, yeah. So this here now is the basis. You can have a little dash of olive oil if you want for the taste or for the nutrients or both. More for the taste because you have enough nutrients in here. Uh, but as we are going to use leftovers that were fried in the olive oil, then I think that's in it. Yeah. Because we are going to make that taste. So let's add it. Okay. We blend. Well, that's the pattern you want. And it's really thick, actually. It smells so good. white flowers that are uh, very healthy and it gets also uh, it's the watermelon family really the melon family, yeah so it has like small cucumbers a fruit that turns red and green and it's invading our yoga shala here so we are going to make soup on it does it have a flavor yeah it does with the finger roots some onion and I'll show you later on. Jelly beans. Yeah. It's yeah, nice. it looks like, you know, a tree. I'm sorry, man, but I love you very much. 
so that's the first step, yeah? You cut up the onion and the root and just smoosh it together. That's it, right? Yep, that's it. You don't boil it. Yeah, no, no, I do. Oh, so... I boil it up once now. And then leave it. And then leave it. 